Hello, everybody. This is Hunter the Hunter Mackinen, and I'm joined by Aqualung. Hello. Yes, and as you can see, we are playing Pitfall, or uh, I'm playing Pitfall, and uh, Ken is my co-commentator for this little Let's Play today. How are you feeling about this? I'm, I'm ready to roll here with this. It's, yes. Uh, Pitfall is one of my favorites from back in the day. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things like, uh, it's kind of like, you know, certain music that you grew up with whenever you hear it, even if it's songs you don't like, it's like, it, it, it just sets you back. Um, so yeah, Pitfall is a game. I mean, Pitfall is not a game that I don't like, but it's, it's, it, but these games are nostalgic. <laughs> Yeah, and Pitfall is one of my favorites. Yes, uh, and I've never played Pitfall. I've never really played any Atari, but on this very channel. Uh, so this is Ken's first debut on my Let's Play channel. But we have done Let's Plays before. Uh, on my main channel back in the uh, back in the day, we did uh, Mega Man One, and on Ken's channel uh, last year, we did a couple of Mega Man Maker Mondays. I guess start on those, and then. Uh, a really long time ago, we played Super Pitfall, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, well, that's not the reason I chose this one. I've just always really wanted to try Pitfall, uh, but I've never really played any Atari. I was not an Atari kid, and also, long, long time ago, many moons ago, I also did uh, a full Let's Play of Strong Bad School Game for Attractive People, and I had an extra episode there where I played the Fun Machine games, which slightly re resemble Atari games, maybe not exactly one-to-one, -one, but... That also m made me think back in the day, man, I should have had Ken on here as a guest. And now Ken is here and we're playing actual Atari. So I'm very curious to see how well I'll do in Pitfall because this is one of the first ever proper like platformers. So uh, it, should, it will be interesting. I'm, I'm curious myself how, right. this, uh, how I'm, this goes. I'm running now. So, so I just keep running. Uh, I just keep playing until the timer runs out. And I immediately killed myself. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's how... That's how it begins. All right, so you definitely want to wait for those crocs to uh, to close their mouths before you jump on them. And you okay. can, if you, if you stand on their heads, all right, you want, yeah. You oh, want that's to, interesting. Um, so I have to press down to let go. Yeah, the, 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 you use the direction. I don't know if it's down or if it's like, you yeah. know. It was down, right yeah. And down. Yeah. Because, okay, so, so yeah, because I, I have, oh, I've never played any Atari systems before this. Okay, I'm going to try to jump over the scorpion. <laughs> there you go. You got him. You got it. So what am I... Am I looking for gold? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you hit your dead end. Ow. Yeah, you... you oh, you caught, you caught the freaking tail of your foot with that one. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like a lot... Yeah, he, speaking of Strong Bad, this lo looks like the, scor like the scorpions who were attacking Code Z in the... Uh, I think that it was. Yeah. They, they do a lot of callbacks and references that... Uh, oh. Damn it! I didn't. I, yeah, I didn't copy adventure for me. Like we can't go dodging ducks in a, <laughs> in, yeah. a in a magical kingdom. <laughs> That's always one of my favorites. We were just talking about Homestar Runner a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I had a feeling there was a barrel coming, so I jumped like instinctively. So can I just stay on the head while they're? You can. Yeah, you can Ooh. stay stay on the head. So yeah, to be safe, you know, wait for each uh, mouth open chomp thing. Yeah. And for lack of a better Ouch. phrase, and there you go. Yeah, so, Ooh. you know, every time you get hit by a barrel or fall down a hole or you see that your score at the end, it's 16, 1767 at the moment, that, w uh, that will decrease for, uh, you know, all the, the non-lethal hazards that you hit. And when that hits zero, the game ends too. Oh, <laughs> God, God damn it. Oh, I, no, it I, I tippy-toed tippy my you way did. into that death. Was, so you're, you're, you, that was it. So no, I, I stand corrected. The the score doesn't kill, doesn't finish you off. You just end up with like no points at the end. But yeah, you have to, uh, yeah, you have to collect all the gold in twenty minutes. Oh, okay. Which, I, I, I haven't the, found, I so haven't found any yet. So no. <laughs> okay, so these these holes are safe. These holes are safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll just drop down to another level. And really, the only way to beat the game is to <laughs> oh, uh, not God, do I did that. It again. No, don't die that way. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh, it dropped me straight right on the barrel too. That was that was. Uh, you got oh off. God! You, you, you got to jump into that yeah. line. Yeah, I did. I, I, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you. Can, the only way that you can <sighs> possibly beat the game is to go by a very specific path, and that involves taking the underground routes and certain. <laughs> you jumped right into the croc. <laughs> yeah, I mistimed it. I completely mistimed it. I thought. <laughs> just imagining the visual, the absurdity of a man just jumping feet first into a crocodile and getting swallowed up whole. Yeah, yeah. This is so. 
so this is this is quite different from uh, well the 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 ouch okay so we did um we did super pitfall on your channel a long time ago and the reason we did that was for nostalgic reasons like okay i've I mean, okay, I played Super Pitfall, but I played it only on emulators, never back on the NES. Uh, but 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 uh, that was kind of like uh, we did that because that's kind of that was that game is sort of uh, the beginning of our YouTube friendship. Ah, shit. Okay. Another brick so, wall, yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason why we decided to do it. And uh, that's yep, the only that was. that's the only standalone. No, that's not the only standalone. You did something for your. W w anniversary or birthday weren't wasn't oh you yeah, played as uh, tom sawyer I, for your uh on your channel yeah but i'm the only I did that was the that was my very first let's play i did it i remember i uh i drank a beer between each level and it was at like three in the morning so it was like i sounded way more i, I sounded like i drank way more than i did <laughs> but it was because it was so fucking late that uh i was getting into sleep deprivation almost yeah ah yeah. I gotta say, I am digging the controls here. Uh, what is this? What is this blue thing supposed to be? You know, I always imagined it as water, but like, why the hell is it evaporating and re uh, materializing so quickly? And I think these are tar pits. I always pictured them as just a pit. Tar when pits. I was, you know, like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to say that they're tar pits, but I mean, why? You know, there's no explanation as to why they. Uh, oh, oh God. you. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's my, that's my, this is my platforming. I, I'm clearly like thinking, I, I'm clearly overthinking my, like my economy of motion a little bit because I, I, I'm so used to in other platformers that I can at least take a step back from the edge of a platform to correct myself. And I noticed that now like, okay, taking more steps towards the edge. I guess that's my Mega Man instinct. Like when I'm at the edge of a platform, I try to like make it as far as I can without falling off before I jump. Yeah, because, there's because, a little room for error in that yeah. case here. I mean, so, you're so I have to. So basically, I have to fight all of my natural instincts here. So. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh ah, okay. I think that if you, I think that you've the way you've done it so, so far is you you're landing directly on the head each time from the head, Ouch. so you don't yeah. have to make any adjustments. Oh yeah, yeah. But Ooh. I think with these uh, with these these particular pits. You want to be on the edge for the big ones and the small ones. It's not as you know, not as big of a deal. Yeah. So, uh, so I was. <laughs> ah, Jesus, I did it again. <laughs> fucking again. Yeah, uh, it's always at the edge of the fucking pit. It, it, it's so yeah. It's it's so exact that I have to try to. Does the cobra kill me instantly? Yes. If you if you if you touch it. Okay. There's oh, the first your first gold. gold. Yeah, you just... <laughs> I was waiting for. I was like, "Please jump! You might, you might not make it." Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I did. I, I, I did watch you play this. So basically, all I do is I keep going until the timer runs out, and or or whoa, you. Whoa. Uh, wow, ah. that is the smallest pit, uh, water pit, or whatever the hell it is I've ever seen it take place. It was place just as. opening. I didn't realize it was there. Okay, so I gotta, yeah. <laughs> gotta remember to check. I, I can't rush into. Yeah, I can't rush yeah, into danger. Yeah, go as soon go as soon as it uh, as soon as it evaporates. Yeah, for lack of a better word. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So this game's a bit more. Uh, okay, I, I I get I, I get the feeling like I was I, I was on the edge and then jumped. That was a bad move. I I'm oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I like this. I I really like this. Uh. Oh. Ah no. Oh. <laughs> way too early. That was way too early. Okay. Uh. Oh, and, uh, uh, that was uh, always the bane of my existence too. When I was getting used to the game, was the with the with the Crocs that didn't have the vine. Yeah, yeah. I, I just try going uh, left. Go go left this oh, time. Okay. Uh, is the, is the level the randomized drink. or? No, it's the same thing. Okay. But you can go le right <laughs> to left too. It's a whole nother. Uh, yeah. And also, like, I I also it's funny. Okay, so I kind of wanted to uh, to go into this pretty much like blind and you know not not you know do any real prep work but obviously i had to find figure out where we're obviously playing this on the on an emulator uh so i wanted to god damn it those barrels okay i can i can outrun them now so uh oh, oh no, no i did it again yeah, yeah there, there's never there's never a, <laughs> and it uh... dropped me on in front of the barrel too <laughs> whoa or uh, no no th these are logs yeah Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I always think I think of them as barrels too, even though you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're thinking Donkey Kong. Where, is like moon, donkey, moon, yeah. <laughs> the moon lighting and Activision be in the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, um, what was it going on about? Yeah. So I so I did actually want to 
So I, obviously I had to try out the emulator that it was working in preparation for this. So I got Pac-Man and tried a yep. little bit of Pac-Man and I was immediately starting to have fun with Pac-Man, which already proves something that I was... Because I, I, there's a video idea that I've toyed around with but I've never really done is like, what games are too retro for me? Because uh, I am a, you know, these days I'm very, very much kind of a retro gamer. I don't really get too excited for new games anymore. But then I noticed that there are certain, like, retro games that I'm not a big fan of. And I've noticed, like, especially, I've, I've done a lot of, on this channel, I've done a lot of old DOS games. And, ouch. Yeah. The thing about the DOS games is, like, I can get back, you know, these kinds of, like, super blocky graphics is not something that bothers me. Like, I actually find it very, very charming. But the thing that I always have a hard time getting into because of them is the lack of music. And also, oh, yeah. and for DOS games in particular, it's the PC speaker bleeps, which are just ear piercing and terrible oh, sounding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can deal with a lack of music way more than I can deal with, uh, uh, you know, just bad sound in general. Yeah. No, I did it again. Oh, I should have oh, just oh, jumped. No, I should have just jumped. <laughs> okay, but this is actually, oh, I, okay, I, I yeah, this is a clever cheat. Down. This is a clever cheat because it spawns me before the, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah, spawning on the opposite Ooh. end. I'd be a little more gold that time. Nice. Okay. Bag of money in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> yeah. So um, I do like this that there is. Oh, oh, there, there has yeah, to be. The, yeah, yeah. I, I just different. realized like why is there a vine here? And then I like, oh god, there must be a pit. There's. You're never gonna find. You're never gonna find a safe. If if it's all platform like that, there's there. You know that something's gonna open up. Like if 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 there, if it's semi safe, it, there's just gonna be the little pits. But if it's a complete blanket of platform. Then you know that something's up. They're, they're gonna, the thing's gonna open up on you, yeah. whether it's a tar pit or yeah. water or whatever the hell. Yes, and so you know, in the past, I'm, I'm sorry for the meandering story, but uh, so in the past, I've kind of thought about like Atari, like this game. You know, I like early '80s arcade games, but I've always thought about like maybe Atari is a little too like primitive for me. But then, like you know, here I am. I'm enjoying myself. There's definitely a pit here. <laughs> you can't fool me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, I'm having, actually, it, the gameplay feels really good. Of course, I'm playing this with a keyboard and not with, a, like, a, you know, joystick, but uh, I guess that's neither here nor there for me. Did the original Atari have any kind of, like, gamepad controller? Ooh. Uh, no, I th it was, they, they just, I mean, there were, there were some games that had a pad-ish type of thing, like, uh, the Sesame Street games had its own, uh, 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 accessory. It was yeah. uh, a pad that had overlays. Yeah, and there yeah, I, were I guess the, on them. Yeah, I guess the closest thing that would be like, uh, because it was like 100% compatible with the system is the 7800 had a ooh, immediately like big open area like that. Now I gotta, <laughs> this is actually good. I sh I definitely this is definitely going way better now that I'm going to the left. <laughs> I think the left. I I, I want to say. That I mean, don't I can't confirm it, but I want to say that the left side is easier. Ouch. But it's uh, I don't know if the only yeah that's the only bullshit the part is like you can't see the logs uh when you're coming. Oh forward. yeah, that, that right. it lands you you're straight on the log. Yeah. Side. Oh god. Now I've never done it. I've never completed the game uh before. Uh, you know I never achieved Ooh. the whole. Yeah. See there you go again. It was like you have to be in full running motion. To survive oh, those God. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait! There's a tunnel. Barrels again. If I can. Yeah, but you know what? Though, watch. It won't put you under where you actually. Uh, see, it's a different. It's a different. Um. <clears throat> it's a. It, it, the underground will take you to shortcuts. It doesn't spawn you to the. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't realize that. To, to, to the to the same screen as ah, above. Dang. They're not 100 percent linear, and that's why you have to take the underground routes to uh in, under certain uh. You have to take specific routes in order to <clears throat> get okay, all the Okay, so should I go left or right now? Man, I, I do whatever you want. I don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't know my way around this thing at all. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a good time. Like, uh, the thing is, like, yeah. And, and, and uh, yeah, we talked a fair bit about, like, uh, when we did the Super Pitfall uh, Let's Play, which I, I still enjoy. Oh, God. I still enjoy. We had technical difficulties doing that one, but uh, I, we, I still had a lot of fun with it uh, back in the day, like, well, I, yeah, I find I find being a guest on a Let's Play always way more enjoyable than being the guy who plays the game because <laughs> the pressure is way higher then. But uh, we did talk about, like, the uh, creator of the... Ah, uh, shit. Okay. We did talk about the creator of Pitfall. Take the vine. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
who, who was the guy? I'm blanking out on the name right now. Me too. Um, oh god, yeah. But uh, but I this, you know, it's uh, Activision was a uh, it, it, at the, especially at this time, you know, it was they were all the 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 the, the big programmers that were uh, you know basically not getting their due from atari yeah yeah that just got together and said screw it we're gonna put together our own third party and they were you know they they produced a lot of great games like pitfall and uh frostbite and ghostbusters a, a ton <laughs> of uh yeah a ton of games that were really it was like the <laughs> it, it kind of opened up the door for a t uh, just like a Oversaturation of third-party developers, though, and that's yeah. why you ended up with so many bad games on the on the system, because there was yeah. no cre uh, there was no licensing. You know, it's not like the uh, yeah. like Nintendo had the stamp of approval. Hey, this is uh, this was approved by Nintendo, despite the fact that there are a lot of bad NES games with that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I get, I get you, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's it's exactly like that. The uh, I guess that is kind of like symptomatic of any like industry that you know when it when it starts out. Uh, you know, when there's, when there's, you know, no model for, you know, that kind of stuff, so you can't, and, and, you know, the game, the industry crash was probably the reason why Nintendo then, you know, introduced the seal of quality and, you know, uh, to all, it had to be. Yeah, exactly. So, way that, on yeah. But one good thing about having all the third party, uh, uh, developers is that it, it's easy to, to, you know, homebrew games. So there's a lot of original Atari games still being made. Yeah, I noticed that. It's... So that was on the Stella. So I, I, I'm trying. I, I was very careful to try, but I uh, to get just specifically OG uh, 2600 games. Yeah. Uh, for the oh, oh god. <laughs> that rattlesnake snake is laughing his ass off at you right now. Yeah, I haven't been paying, paying attention to my score, but I get the feeling like that was the best run I've had so far. That yeah. was. It lasted yeah. the longest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the score is like you know, it it might have actually been lower than other ones because it starts at uh, I don't know twenty thousand or two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so two thousand. All right, so it decreases when you hit hazards, but you do accumulate. Yeah, but gold. I was get, I, I was getting gold, so that's you why. Were, yeah, 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 you got more gold there, so like, it was something like eight thousand. So yeah, I yeah. think that was. The I'll, I'll keep going this way because I was having a lot more luck with going this way. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we can't keep getting meandering about, but yeah, so Pitfall 2 then, of course, is a lot more structurally similar to Super Pitfall. Uh, yes. <clears throat> and Which is something that I forgot to point out in my Super Pitfall review. Uh, I think it was just because I was doing a lot of it on memory, and I didn't have Pitfall 2, and uh, I only played it a limited amount of time growing up. Yeah. So this makes it's it. This actually, game. yeah. So this actually become. This is now officially the third Pitfall game I've ever played because I played uh, Super Pitfall a long, long time ago on an emulator, and specifically I played it because of your video because I wanted to try it out for myself. We talk yeah. about this other guy. I have I have this kind of masochistic side to myself that when I see a bad game, I really want to try it for myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I you played, immediately regret it. Yeah, and uh, I played, and I've uh, also. I've also played the I don't I forget what it's called, but it's the same one that they released uh, for the Wii and PlayStation Two. Uh, I don't know if you know that one. I know that uh, of it. I, I I know what you're yeah. talking about. I can't uh, pinpoint the title of it. Yeah. So um, and the thing, the main takeaway I had from that, uh, my little brother has had that game on the Wii, so that's where I played it. And my main takeaway from that was that the cutscenes <clears throat> were really funny because they they really tried to imbue. You know, if you look at Pitfall Harry here, you know, not much personality, just a guy in green tights running around the jungle so you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> so in that game what they were trying to do was trying to make him kind of this into this kind of a you know douchey uh super self-assured hero and getting all off into all kinds of shenanigans in the jungle uh so the cutscenes were really funny i don't recall the gameplay being particularly good it was kind of just another uh 3d platformer and um I don't hate 3D platformers, but I have noticed that I tend to like 2D platformers a bit more. And the main reason is that I'm, I'm not, the thing that most 3D platformers, the common denominator is that they, they tend to be big collectathons. Not to say that there aren't big collectathon 2D platformers, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm more... I, I don't like collecting stuff. I can't, let's, let's put it that way. Which is ironic yeah. because I'm, I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. Even it, yeah, <laughs> really. Well, you know, it's like because you kind of can... You, you you can take the collecting part of it out yeah. of the equation and just I, explore the game. Yeah, I guess I guess what what it's more like the scavenger hunt aspect of uh, 3D platformers that I've always kind of had a little bit of a. Uh, it can be fun and it can you could be it can be used as a motivator to make you to force you kind of to explore the levels. But I yeah it, well there, there's there's good ways and bad ways to do it. Like I don't mind something like Mario 64 because. In that, the collecting is pretty uh, minimal. Like, you only you only need about like what is it like sixty stars, seventy stars, eighty stars. Pick a number. Uh, so <laughs> one of those to beat the game. But then, if you want to go back and like get everything, like you can. So it's kind. Of, so yeah, yeah. All right. You know, you maybe when you mentioned him in green tights. Yep. It made me think that this uh, that Pitfall Harry here is Green Man without the 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 head part of the garment uh if, if any green always man. sunny in Phil green man from uh, always sunny in philadelphia oh sorry yeah I don't, I, I, that's a tv show sorry i have not watched it <laughs> oh yeah yeah anybody that has will know what i'm talking about no it's it's it's, it's funny <laughs> i i am i am in the i'm another uh, that's that's where i'm also a bit of a weirdo like i do not consume media <laughs> Well, a little know, bit. Not... <laughs> not, not okay. I don't. Not to say that I don't consume any media. That's that's just kind of a joke. Like, yeah, when people talk about some, oh, that's like that television show. Like, yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, no, don't haven't watched it. <laughs> well, you know, it's. It, I mean, I, nobody can watch everything. You know, it's it, even if you are, a, you know, a big media consumer. Uh, you know, there's too there's too many of them to be able to be completely in tune with with all of it. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, so there's just the, the Green Man connection. Also, um, there was, I, I just recently watched somebody talk about, it wasn't specifically about that game, but you know Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. I was actually going to bring that up at some point during this. Yeah, that's, yes, uh, the, that's on the 16 bit consoles and the, yeah. And that, and that you're Harry's son, aren't you? I think it's his nephew. Okay. But, uh, I maybe, I'm, I'm, some I, relative, I, I some relative at, at, at any yeah. rate. Yeah, because, the ending of that game is that you go, you at the end you rescue Pitfall Harry, and he's like tied to a rock, and we see that he's still like this pixel, this like Atari version of the character. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I love that. That that was great. Spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> Spoiler alert for a thirty-year-old <laughs> 30 video game. game. <laughs> God damn it! Doesn't does, doesn't that make you feel old that the nineties were that so long ago? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, shit. I remember that, that would be like at the time. You know, if you really think about it, relatively, if uh, you know, that would be like uh, growing up in the '90s. At the time, the thirty year, the, the the period from thirty years ago were the '60s. So you think about how far back the '60s were back at the yeah. time. That's what the '90s are now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like okay. All right. I think this is gonna be our last run. We've already we've already got a good, decently long episode out of this. I'm actually having a really good time with this. Yeah, yeah, this is a very accessible yeah. game, you know. Uh, there, there are, I mean, there are, like we said, there are hundreds of yeah. Atari games, and a lot of them have not aged yeah. well. And this is one that has. Yeah, and also Atari in, oh god, Atari, <laughs> specifically because I'm European, I guess that bears mentioning here. So Atari had a really weird presence. Like, I know Atari was around in Europe, but I have never seriously, like, ever met anybody. But I, I recently, like, dug up a super old commercial. It's for, um store that doesn't exist anymore but they were an electronics store and they were like advertising um oh god they were advertising i think like an atari computer and they were just but they were only really just they were talking about uh oh yeah that's the funny thing it, it, so it's the guy ah oh, god damn it oh, that, panic mode so the guy is has a game and watch and says come and trade in your uh, Tinker Toy games for a real game or something like that. So, <laughs> uh -huh. so, so it was suggesting to trade in the uh, the Atari games. Now, uh, it was yeah, oh, that's ba that's back in the day when electronic stores actually took trade ins. Nowadays, I don't <laughs> think you're gonna <laughs> that that would fly anymore. <laughs> yeah, but that was kind of funny. So it's 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 the thing. Like Atari definitely had some kind of presence, and I also remember that you know Jaguar uh, was advertised here, but I don't know anybody uh, who yeah. ever owned it or something like that. Yeah. 
that, that was going to be my next question. You talked about the 2600, 7800, or Atari in general as far as their presence in Europe. Yeah, in general, like yeah, was... because Europe was I, – I get Europe in the early 80s. I, did, I just did another video about uh, sort of related to this topic a, a little while ago. Like it, it was a real hodgepodge, the whole gaming market in Europe. And but uh, then, then um, the seventy eight hundred, as I as I understood, actually did sort of okayish here because it came out in eighty seven, and the NES and Master System hadn't come out in Europe yet, so they had kind of an even even playing field over here. But then, obviously, you know, the console overall did so poorly that it, it you know it ended up kind of dying out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. But hey, that was fun. That was Pitfall. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. We're going to do some other Atari games uh, in a minute. So see you then. <laughs> see you then.